hey guys welcome to my channel so in this video we are going to do something creative all right so we are going to write some shell script to uh for doing something here on our on this bar so on this subreddit dank linux user which is a really nice subreddit by the way so somebody posted so on this subreddit anybody can post anything creative all right so somebody posted this so this is uh as you can see on his bar so by the way that somebody have a name uh, let me just see okay so somebody posted something so here you can see so when he's turning down his brightness uh this emoji is getting changed so i want to build something like this for my own and this is very easy actually so let me type exit root name and then anything so on this video he's using waybar in river window manager but i'm using dwm and in dwm if you type exit root minus name and then anything for example my name and press enter so this is just going to change whatever the content of bar is okay so now what i can do is so what, what okay so i can create a shell script where i can type exit um, root name and then hello world okay and uh, so let me just open tmux quickly and uh, split it so split it horizontally and then vertically okay here i will open bar.sh here i will execute it okay so chmod plus x bar.sh and um, execute bar.sh all right so if i run so this is going to get changed with hello world so i can run it inside a loop all right i can run inside a loop and this bar.sh will keep running and this will you know it will change hello world again and again okay so I don't have to run it every microsecond so I can just type sleep 5 and then after you know or I can do sleep 5 later and uh, basically like this okay so basically what we are doing is inside a loop we are running that this exit root and then after if it get run successfully okay so end end means that if this command get run successfully after that we are going to run sleep for 5 seconds okay and uh, if i run this bar.sh so as you can see but this is just hello world how we will you know like there is nothing to see here so instead of hello world let's just make it a, a variable or yeah so let's make it a date or d and make a variable oh shit, sorry date all right so here if i type d so or today today is a better better word for this variable today all right and just save it and rerun it okay it's giving me some error because i forgot the quotations here so if you don't put quotes it won't treat it as a string all right so if i run it it's still giving me error because i forgot uh quotes here too so if you don't put quote it will treat it as string rerun it so here you can see uh so yeah, yeah after five seconds it's going to get changed like this seconds will change okay so one two three four okay all right so it changed so this is good so now what i can do is this today instead of today we can do volume and here power mixer get volume all right and we can just copy this or not copy this just put it here and here just type wall okay save it and then rerun it okay so right now my volume is 86 power mixer get volume let's just watch this i don't know if we can watch it or not like this yeah so now let me just decrease my volume so here it's going to ch get changed after two seconds and so here it changed but here it doesn't what the fuck oh i know why i think because of this okay so now i'm decreasing my volume and here you can see it's the uh, 68 but here as you can see the 68 happened after five seconds so it waited for like the sleep to get over all right like this this is not what i want okay so let me stop this and let me stop this and now we have to learn some concept okay so for learning that concept first let's just uh, put volume into a function called update volume update volume 
and make this our shell function oh shit all right so what will happen now is we will run this update volume function every time i change my volume okay but how this will happen well this will happen with trap so what is trap so every time we try to kill some process we just send the signal okay so you can send signals to processes okay and every program you run is basically a process so if i just run trap update volume and so basically every time we get a signal so what signal it's rt min so rt min basically means 34 okay it stands for 34 but you can also type rt min 35 is for kill so every time you type kill command by default it just sent 35 i don't know if it's written here or not okay let's just forget it so you can read about it but trap is basically for you know catching the signal and then running some function so every time we send a signal which is 34 number so rt main uh rt main is equal to 34 okay every time we get 34 signal it's just going to run update volume okay all right so let's just save this and let me run bar.sh so what is the process id first so psof scrap and then bar.sh so oh my god there are a lot of things there so this is the process id i'm pretty sure okay so this is the command this is the process id so we can use kill command to send any signal 34 so this is the number which we want to send and if i press enter wait a second this is why it's showing me ewm 6.2 like this doesn't make sense oh because we haven't run update volume even once but still so we have to run update volume at least one time okay before entering into the while loop um otherwise this function like otherwise volume is actually nothing and if it's nothing then this is why you know it's running ewm 6.2 so if we type x set root i'm pretty sure like if i type x set root minus name hello and then give nothing then it's going to just by default use uh, dwm 6.2 okay all right so let's just run bar.sh and now let's just send the signal and no such process oh we have to get the new process id uh, which is uh, bar.sh so mm, this is the process id all right so now what you have to look for is uh this this thing so i'm going to change some change my volume all right and press enter and the, the as soon as i press enter you know the change is happening all right so you can see so every time i press enter the change is happening uh it because it's not waiting for sleep it's just waiting for my signal we don't even need sleep now okay we can just remove sleep all right and uh, yeah that's it like every time i change so we got the basics up all right we got the basic scripting up so now what we can do is in this function inside this function we are able to change volume but now the one question which you might have is how we are going to send signal every time the volume is changing well in my simple x hotkey daemon which is a key binding program which i use uh, if i if you can see so here every time i'm changing my volume uh you can see uh this power mixer command is running which is you know changing volume and then i'm sending a signal to this so what is this so this is a cache of pid of bar so what i can do every time i start the script i can just echo or printf printf uh the current process id and then just you know put it in my cache directory cache and then pid or bar id okay anything anything will work okay so this will create a file with my process id so we don't need to type psox or anything we can just you know it will it will get it from there okay or let me just use pid of bar so i don't have to change uh here all right 
so save it and now if i okay why i close the script so let me close it and then var.sh and now if i try to click buttons to increase and decrease volume it's working it's working perfectly this is so beautiful all right so in case if you are not familiar with traps you can just go to tldp dot uh, org and then you know there are some linux guides which you can follow and i think they explain it very well all right i think this one let me yeah linux okay linux uh you, you can just find or watch some there there is one video i make uh where you can learn like uh no more okay so this is working now we want emoji all right uh now we want like the main emoji thing so it's pretty simple to add emoji we can just put uh, if volume volume is greater than uh 90 80 let's just call 80 like for now then uh let's just make a emoji emoji is equal to and okay you don't need this all right so emoji and then happy smiling all right smiling so this is good else if i think lf yeah if volume is greater than 70 or 60 let's just call it 60 then again emoji this instead of this we need you know emoji and then sad like upside happy or something okay else let's just you know for the sake of uh tutorial let's just do it quick and just do else instead of else if or anything all right or wait instead of this like uh emoji dead oh set okay this is this is fine okay f i and this is it and by default if it uh, if the volume is doesn't fall in any of these then this is for the fallback we can have a um stupid looking emoji anything okay this is a fallback emoji all right i think this will work right i hope mm, i don't know if i have to put in here i'm not sure about it i'm i'm not good with shell by by the way like as you can see no i don't think we have to put here all right let me save it and see running it all right this is an issue i think then have to be here okay now run it again syntax error then unexpected what hmm this is here uh something like this will work not sure okay i think i can look this up in my own bar sorry about this worst tutorial ever oh just quickly quickly else doesn't need then okay else doesn't need then everything else need then uh if we are putting if then we need that okay else doesn't need then see even i learned something making video what the fuck i think this is not needed this is not needed yeah for sure okay so now it's working and but there is no emoji because i made a variable emoji but i haven't used it here okay so we have to use emoji first emoji all right this is going to be a long tutorial guys so yeah so now if i increase the volume so as you can see it's a very tiny i don't know if you can see it i should i should change it or make it big or something is there any tool for magnifying magnifier i don't know pacman magnifier okay screen magnifier let me just show you k mag okay k mag k mag yeah you can see this you can see this i can i magnify more guys i think zoom yeah so boy look at this this is so beautiful yeah so that's it i think you got the idea you can just put better emojis i do 
more better so that's a video hope you learned something thanks for watching peace out